Astrotometry log. It is July 31st, 2010. It's approximately 0756 UTC at the time of this recording. This is a follow-up on the tropical cyclone forecast for the southern hemisphere based on this coronal mass ejection that occurred on uh, July 28th. And from the shape and trajectory, uh, the velocity of this CME, I was forecasting that August 6th or 7th, we'll see uh, some significant southern hemisphere tropical activity that will probably result in uh, near, high, near cyclone strength, possibly up to uh, category two on the Saffir-Simpson scale. And I wanted to follow up with the recent activity and sort of go back and go over what's happening right now that was uh, ejected from the sun previous to July 29th. If you go to weatherunderground.com, you can check out their tropical activity page. There's two low pressure systems being tracked right now, 90L and 97L. And these uh, storm systems, potentially storm systems, they're just low pressure systems right now, um, are being watched. Um, the trajectory on this one is, is headed for um, the eastern US and presently the wind speed is 22 miles per hour for uh, system 90 and it's projected by the ship's model to be 82 miles per hour um, by 120 hours. Now this is hurricane strength and so this is uh, a model this model is predicting that this um, system is going to reach hurricane strength within 120 hours. This is a very long range forecast. These change frequently. And I wanted to go ahead and give astrotometry's view on this because I think it's significant. And the other, the other system is um, little different opinions on the models here. Um, one model shows it reaching tropical storm strength um, within about uh, 90 hours or so. And I guess we, I think this is tropical storm strength about right here. And so probably um, 90 hours or so. And then the others show it falling off. And so I wanted to give astrotometry's view on this. And um, it's based on, um, we'll go back to July 18th here and look at the coronal mass ejection. See this little one right here? There's uh, one that comes out up here um, and one that comes out down here. Um, see that little one right there? Um, there's one here in the in the southern hemisphere that bleeds up into one in the northern hemisphere right here. This activity is all associated with storms according to uh, the astrotometry model. And so this is an indicator of the activity that will be happening before the, um, the, the prediction that I made. And then after, the, if we go back to the 29th, Afterwards, there was another coronal mass ejection. And because of the gaps in the SOHO data, we didn't get to see the beginning of this. But this is on the 30th, and it continues into the 31st. And so there's a, uh, a sort of disturbance that's coming right behind the one that I made the forecast for, which is the condition that I mentioned that the form of the cyclone itself could be disturbed by another ejection. And so that's probably going to happen. This is still going to be very, very strong um, storm activity, though. And this one is um, connecting, looks like, the northern and the southern hemisphere. So we're going to see a sort of uh, break across the equator into potentially two storms um, starting around August 8th and 9th. And so this... Um, this forecast that I'm putting together is, is very experimental. I haven't done one like this for cyclones before, but I'll go ahead and, and read you the sort of digest version of this. Long range cyclone watch, indicated by recent astrotometry and core weather modeling, logged July 31st, 2010, approximately 756 UTC. Tropical depressions 90L and 97E are expected to strengthen over the next 48 hours. 90L may reach tropical storm status before dissipating, but is not expected to reach hurricane strength. 97E is not expected to reach tropical storm strength before dissipating. If these systems linger for more than a week, they may be energized by an event expected around August 8th or 9th. 
a southern hemisphere tropical storm is expected to start forming around August 4th to 5th. This storm could grow into a cyclone with Category 1 strength. Another sort of southern hemisphere tropical storm is expected to start forming in the in or around August 6th or 7th. This depression will grow into a strong tropical storm and is likely to reach Category 2. Around August 8th or 9th, a tropical depression is expected to form in the northern hemisphere. This depression will grow into a, a strong tropical storm and is likely to reach Category 1 on the Saffir-Simpson hurricane scale. This scientific log is not suitable for planning nor emergency management. And it looks like I made a little error right here. Uh, forming around August 6th or 7th. Um, so that's the that's the current watch. Um, and this um, activity, like I said before, this, this Southern Hemisphere event may be disrupted by this chaos, but it's still expected to be a significant um, storm activity. It may not reach hurricane strength because of, because of the winds being pulled in different directions. Um, but it could be it could be one both in the northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. I don't I didn't get to see the beginning of this. If we uh, reverse this, we can sort of take a look at, at at what it what it was right before it stopped. But we don't really get a, a very good look at that. And so um, that um, that those are chunks of data missing from the from the uh, Soho uh, C3 feed. And so I don't know what that looked like when it first when it first was ejected. And depending on you know the details there. It could be a fairly significant, um, could be a fairly significant sunspot that's coming around uh, the limb, considering that it um, it has it has components both in the the northern and southern hemisphere. There, um, that could be a, that could be a fairly significant um, um, bit of solar activity. Which in astrotometry, this lack of activity, this dearth of activity that we've been seeing in the cycle 24 minimum is the reason we haven't been seeing the same sorts of uh, hurricane activity that we've been seeing and, and what has been forecast. So um, thanks for watching and um, uh, stay tuned. Thanks.